Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? Me some money and this is Sportsbook Robbery. So we're on Thursday night football. We got Patriots at the Jets. Uh, Patriots at the underdog. Check it out. We're here. Lines open up plus seven and a half. It's at six and a half right now. Uh, over on the 42, 38 and a half right now. Weather should be nice. 75 degrees. No rain. A little bit of wind. Uh, this is an action network. I like it. Uh, got a lot of different stats, breakdowns. You can do props, all sorts of stuff. Uh, used to be a bet tracker. It still is a bet tracker, but you got to enter it yourself. I'm going to start doing that again. I used to just sync my bets, draft king, wherever, and put them right here. But I guess they had a falling out. But uh, it's got a lot of details. That's why matchups. Uh, Jets beat Tennessee 24-17, and then 49ers had lost 19-32. One game under, one game over. Patriots, same thing, lost overtime in Seattle. They won against Cincinnati, one game over, one game under. But as the season goes on, it gets uh, all the trends, you know, uh, shows money for us bets. Right now, a little more money on uh, the Jets. Bets are just about even, 46-54. Against the spread, ATS, money line, injuries, players, rosters. Basically, you know, a lot of info. Then it's a bet tracker, too, which I'm going to start doing that. Haven't used it because you got to enter it manually now, but got to get back on track. So you'll be able to see with bets, actual bets, instead of in the beginning of the video where I put the the uh, the recap. But uh, while I'm going over another site I use is Team Rankings. It's great for football. You can break down. Uh, right now I got it on stats. Basically, the two teams that are playing, it'll show all their players and all their stats. You can break it down to uh, per game, season totals. Uh, like right now, it's on rushing. It'll highlight the best uh, in green, whichever was the best, you know, positional player. Right, being by the boom. But it shows everything in a uh, bunch of different categories. But the travel analytics, it shows where the team's coming from. Uh, Teams they played in situations like that, as well as injury report, uh, offense, defensive uh, efficiencies, all that shit. But uh, yeah, I found this interesting. A lot of players are. Uh, uh, this is the Patriots right here in England. Uh, outside linebacker, the guard, defense, and uh, center. Questionable, not out. But then the Jets, too, they got a lot of people questionable. Uh, that's a linebacker, tight end, linebacker, two main, uh, Mosley and Reed. So we'll see what happens. I don't, I don't expect it to be a high scoring game. They did lower the number. It might, it's going to be pretty close to that. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking Jets are going to pull it off. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I do have some player props, so let's get into that. Uh, first up, Bryce Hall, receiving yards over 24 and a half. Crazy juice, right? Yeah, I all lined it back. Minus 178. I think I got it for a little, like 160. But uh, what I did was I had a 50% boost on FanDuel, so I added it and brought it down to minus 110. It's a little trick. Uh, you know he's going to go over 24, get 25 receiving yards. So uh, 
I use them for when I like have a real good feeling that the play will go over with. But uh, they got his line at 29 and a half, which I just think he'll still go over it. But if you can all line it back, always all line it back. Uh, this year, went over it twice. Almost doubled it last game versus Tennessee. Uh, San Francisco, he had 39. Uh, you can play his receptions, too. Four and a half. I just feel like the reception, uh, receiving yards would probably be a little easier. But our last game is seven receptions, five receptions the first game. You know, Roger's going to take what's available. If they're covered, he's going to rather play it safe. He actually said that. Uh, not those exact words, but uh, basically game management. Just take care of the ball, do the right thing. Uh, I can see if they get a lead, they're going to start running the ball a lot. So you can look into his yards. I believe that. I do have... Uh, couple other players I got I get into that so uh Brees Hall I played his his uh receiving yards you can really play any type of combo if you can get his rushing plus receiving low enough the numbers got like eight yards difference though so that don't make sense but uh get his rushing yards at a low number and uh I did receive it let's get it All right, next up, this is what I was saying before. Uh, I went with the Jets' second running back. He uh, had a good showing last game. I think he's going to get uh, some decent amount of carries in the second half, throughout the first half here and there. But uh, the Jets go up. They're going to be running the shit out that ball. Uh, rushing yards over 21 and a half. Um DraftKings, excuse me, DraftKings minus 115. They don't have a uh, bet 365 in my area. New York, New York. Uh, first game, he didn't go over. Second game, he easily killed it. Uh, Russian attempts, first game one. Second game, seven. Uh, had a good showing, like I said. So I think they're going to give him uh, a couple more carries. But, uh, yeah, I just, I liked it in the way he showed up last game. Um, I think they're going to try to utilize him, not wear out Allen. Uh, Allen, uh, Paul. But, uh, yeah, really now, what did he do last year? This is his first year. He's a rookie, that's right. He did nothing last year. Actually, the number went up. Opened up at 16 and a half. It's up to 21 and a half. Nineteen and a half. They got it. Always all on the back. I don't bet that much of play. But if you, especially if you're betting more money. Get that. And I say this all the time, man. It's the difference between winning and losing. Books are always spot on. So, all line it back, you get an advantage right off the rip. But, uh, yeah, bring it out in rushing yards. Uh, shit, get it at 19 and a half if you can. One way to Alan Lazard, receiving yards over 24 and a half. Uh, played it at like minus 160. You know, it sounds crazy, right? But, uh, Truthfully, the amount I bet, it's only like a three, four dollar difference from a uh, minus one twenty to a minus one sixty. So, you know, I'd rather cash it than not cash it. Uh, last game, not utilized at all. But he had one reception, I think. Four targets, two receptions. Uh, I just think they're going to try to get him involved. Uh, I think they're going to 
they're going to be, uh, it's like every team, but they're going to be focusing on trying to start Wilson. It's going to open up a few other players. So uh, another way you could go out of this is receptions. As you see, he had two last game, six the first game. So uh, four targets last game, caught two of them, nine targets first game. But, uh, yeah, I just went with the yards and that low number. He can catch that in one play. You know, it's catch 22 sometimes. Sometimes they get a couple little slants and uh, whatever don't go for the yardage. Sometimes they get one reception, can catch the yards in one play. But uh, season's still young. We're still figuring it out. But uh, the way I went was his yards, and I all lined it back. So, uh, I mean, you can get it at 29 and a half, minus 110. 120. Draft Kings depends where you are. Uh, definitely still think it's doable. You know, he's got the history. They were on Green Bay together. But uh, another person I didn't play, which I, I usually do, I like, I like, I got a certain strategy I stick to, you know, certain running backs, whether the yards are good or whatever, but our receptions, check downs, shit like that. Third down conversions to the tight ends, to the running backs. Uh, they got a little receptions, decent yards. And right now, Conklin's yards are down to like 25 or 20. So I might be adding that. But no, it, it was a, it was the last two games, it's been at like 40, but he hasn't come close to it. But uh, I can see them utilizing him too. But uh, if I do that, I'll drop in the community. Yeah, I was uh, uh, 29 and a half. I played 25, 24 and a half. Let's get it. Uh, that's it for the Jets for now. Like I said, if I had any other plays, I'll drop in the community. Uh, or I'll pin it in the comment section. But uh, Patriots, Jacoby Brissett, uh, once again, backup quarterback, taking over. He's uh, made a career out of that. You know, he's decent. He's not great. He's not bad. He's he's all right. Uh, rushing yards over 11 and a half. Minus 113, FanDuel. Let's see if it changed. No. It did go up actually, it's 13 and a half, but you can still get it 11 and a half right now. Um, last week, the Jets, this is another thing I do. I go on ESPN, check out the stats on the left from the games, previous games. Uh, use, use multiple, multiple sites, multiple things I use to, uh, do my research. As you see my whole computer up here, you guys actually see in my computer all the stuff I used. But uh, Will Levis last week was able to catch some yards, four carries, 38 yards, averaged uh, just about 10 long as 21. So uh, I just figured Jacoby, you know, he ain't crazy mobile, but he'll get to it if he can. Uh, 11 and a half, just a little number. So by uh, seeing that, what uh, what's his name did last week? I just I think he could uh, catch some slipping and go over this. I did just read that and had this earlier that uh, left tackle is out, low is out, so they're gonna be having a rookie play there. So. Uh, that could actually lead into what I'm saying. It'll make him flush out the pocket and maybe take off. Or it could also, I mean, pick some defensive uh, plays on the Jets to catch some sacks. So, uh, yeah, sounds like a good idea, actually. All right, Jacoby Brissett, let's get it. Rushing. Uh, running back one for the Patriots. Went with receiving yards over 14 and a half. 
minus 113. Line opened at 13, went to 15, and now basically set up in the middle. Um, last week, actually both weeks, he did not go over this. Although, I juggled between this two receptions or targets is catch 22. Always had that situation. First game, three three targets, three receptions. Uh, last game, five targets, two receptions. Um, this is all last year. Shit still, they don't have it. Yards allowed, 17th, 13th, Jets. But, uh, you know, basically he must have been getting stuffed. And throw that screen. And uh, he's catching in and getting cracked and losing yards. But uh, I just thought that uh, he's getting that many opportunities that he's got the chance to break out and catch 14 yards, two receptions, one reception, uh, more than a screen. Uh, we're going to check down, have everyone locked up. We would check down, but... Uh, He's not really the receiving back. That'll lead into my next play, but they have been utilizing him like that. Uh, another reason why I picked him is because last game, Titans, Jets, uh, Tony Pollard had, uh, that's rushing. Hold up. We are receiving. He had five receptions, 40 yards, 22 long, six targets. So. And uh, the other run back uh, got some yards, too. So I just figured against the Jets, they just was able to utilize that. So uh, And they're already giving him all these attempts that he could possibly catch some yards. And uh, 14 and a half, if he gets a couple targets, five targets, four targets, anything close to what he's been getting, he should be able to go over this. Uh... Yeah, let's get it. Stevenson, uh, his, his rushing yards could be all right. They're a little high. I don't know, 66, that's high, right? Some teams have been running against the Jets. He has cleared this in both games. So uh, that could be a play. I mean, Paul had 17 carries, 62 yards. That's trash if you ask me. Spears, six carries, 20 yards. His long was seven. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I just think uh, they might be playing from behind. I mean, obviously the run game opens up the pass game. Give you that play action, but... Uh, yeah, I just played the yard, uh, reception yards. Does look good though, right? All right, let's get it. Uh, Stevenson receiving yards over uh, 14 and a half. Let's go. Running back, Antonio Gibson, back number two. I did a combined rushing and receiving yards over 32 and a half, minus 119. Uh, DraftKings, 120 DraftKings, sorry. Um, you know, always all line. I'm, I say it all the time. I repeat myself all the time. You got to. This last, the first game, he didn't really have opportunity. Second game, I gave him a couple chances. And he showed up and showed out. Uh, 103. Let me break it down so we can see what he actually did. Rushing yards. The video's getting long. You can see the computer's starting to lag. Uh, 96 rushing yards. Uh, 
on 11 carries. First game, he has seven carries. So he's getting some opportunities. Um, basically, he he's he should be the receiving back instead of Stevenson. But uh, it hasn't been going that way. So I expect him to actually try and, and try to get him the ball receiving-wise. Uh, he got that, them rushing yards. He uh, was a running play, juke somebody, and was able to take off. He's good in the open field like that. Uh, make a couple of minutes, break some tackles. But they have his receiving yards at seven and a half, which could be a real easy play. That might have been the smarter play. One catch and go. But uh, he had seven. He had one catch last game for seven yards. I just thought with the amount of carries, I mean, he had seven in the first game, 11 in the second, that uh, between the both, uh, 33 and a half, even if he just gets a couple of receptions or just a couple of runs, I just feel like the number is low enough to it that either way you get over it. And, uh, you know, this way, if they utilize him in the past game, or uh, play thirty-two and a half, or the uh, the running game. He should be able to go over it if he's got any of the type of carries he's had the first two games. We should be cashing this. Tony Gibson, let's go. If you could like that video. Uh, new viewers, if you like what you see and it works out for you, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications where you get all my plays, my live bets, anything I do. Uh, try to be as transparent as possible. The people who do like and comment, thank you. Appreciate you. Gotta hurry up. It's getting way too long. Uh, Demario Douglas, you know, Patriots coach and stuff, they said... Uh, they got to get him more involved. He's a key player on their offense, and they haven't been utilizing him. No target, uh, no catches last game. He's exceeded this number in 10 of his last 13 games. Goes back to last year. But uh, I played 20, over 22 and a half, minus 120 on DraftKings. Opened that 20 and a half. It went up and went down. But... Uh, that's the reason why I played it. Uh, but tomorrow it should be a little higher because I've seen other people say the exact same thing. Three targets first game, no targets last game. But uh, yeah, they should be trying to get to him right out the gate. That's what they're talking about. Uh, Hopefully it'll work. The Mario Douglas receiving yards. Let's get it. Hunter Henry. Uh, I played his receiving yards. You can get that at 32 and a half if you got bet MGM with Caesar. I played 33 on Drive Cream, so I've got to get money into my other accounts. But, um,. I've been noticing that Caesars and uh, Ben MGM always got a little bit lower on on these oddball plays, but uh, he killed this last game. Tight end, 109 yards. He had uh, 12 targets, eight receptions. First game, three targets, two receptions. He do have his receptions at three and a half. So uh, it's basically the. What I've been, how I've been breaking on these games the last couple of weeks, playing the running backs for them check downs, uh, third down conversions, same thing with the tight end, a couple of plays when the receivers get covered or in the back gets covered or, or black, the back's got to pick up a block, receivers are covered, leave the tight end open, put it uh, yeah, simple, easily plays, which how I think the game is going to go. It's been working. Uh, like I said, if you could like, comment, subscribe, I uh, appreciate everyone. Ace Money the Name, getting paid for the game. Let's go.